Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So we have a corner coffee slash Keurig bar, if you will, um, that needs a top. So that's where all this walnut comes in. Um, this looks like a substantial pile of walnut, and it is. Um, but long story short, I picked this up for really pennies on the dollar. So we're going to turn this into that, that coffee bar that I need. It's an L-shaped. And I'm going to make the slabs be a little less than two inches thick, maybe inch and three quarters. Um, just see where we get with it. And I'm going to do them in smaller slabs so that I can get it all through the planer and get it cleaned up. There's a lot of defects in this boards. Um, I would imagine we'll be using some epoxy and some things along the way. Um, but initially, I'm going to get this uh, broke down kind of any way I can. Some of it has a nice straight, straight edge on it and I'll just push it through the table saw. And some of it is really messed up on both sides and I'll go to the track saw to get that stuff. And then we'll glue up the slabs and get them flat and of course it's got to be 45 and that's where the domino will come in. I'll use the domino when we actually connect the, the slabs together. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so there's all the pieces for the uh, coffee bar. Uh, next up, just got to mill all those flat and, and get ready to pick out the pieces I want for the glue ups. there it is all milled up. It's the next day now so that was that was a lot of milling and uh, frankly I've, I've had enough of it. You'll notice there's some numbers on the end. Essentially when the pieces were flat I quit I quit running them through. They don't all have to be the same thickness but I did them in multiples of four so they'll be one of each thickness a minimum of one of each thickness in each one of the slabs. There'll be four slabs and then two slabs go together to make the hole and then they go together to make the L shape. You'll, it'll make sense in a few minutes. Next up we're going to start laying these out um, in an order that, that makes sense and looks right and again paying attention to where those thicknesses of the boards are in each one of the slabs so when we 45 them together they all line up. So let me get these situated and arranged a little bit and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so there's uh, each slab. They're just in a rough order. I, any defects that I could find, I made sure to put those down. Um, and then I do have a few extra boards to intermingle with. So I'll, I'll take a look at that. Like here, this might be just too much sapwood in this one, so I'll swap one or two of these out with another board. Um, and again, there's a little defect in this board right here, so I might look for something to just replace that board so I don't have to fix it later, but we'll see. Um, each slab's running about 10 and a half, so it gives, me, uh, it gives me about an inch more than I really need once it's all put together. So that's a good thing. I, I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna need to true up edges and whatnot, so I'd rather have too much than not enough. So yeah, we're gonna move on to a glue up next. Like I said, I'll have a closer look at those boards as we go, and like in the case of this sapwood, if I need to swap them out, I'll go ahead and swap them out.
There we go. One down, three to go. Okay, so there's all four mini slabs put together. I'll give those probably the rest of the day in clamps. Um, and then I'll, I'll get them out and start pushing them through the planer to get everything flat. Then we'll really start laying out for this countertop. Okay, getting them out of clamps. It's using a regular old paint scraper to get that dried up glue off. Planer is going to take any of these marks off anyway. There's all four slabs flattened out, good to go. I just need to line them up now and see how they fit best, uh, keeping in mind you know, those different widths that we had for some of the individual pieces. They're still all numbered on the end, so I should be able to line them up okay. Okay, and I think that that's how we're gonna line them up. So now I just need to put each, each of those halves together. And I'm gonna use the domino for alignment and get them glued up. Since the dominoes are just being used to keep this flat, I'm only going to use a couple. Okay, so I'm going to just make a half-hearted effort at the 45 degree line on here. Um, just so I have a rough idea that I don't stick a domino in the middle of that 45. It wouldn't be the end of the earth because these two are going to come together, um, but I can also keep them outside of there. So I think that that should be plenty good. So next up we're going to get these uh, dominoes cut and get this glued up. Okay, I'll just rinse and repeat for the other side and leave them sit for the night. Okay, so slabs out of clamps. I got a couple little defects I'm going to go ahead and take care of with epoxy before I get too crazy with this and get it all cut up. But I'm going to go ahead and tape this off first to protect most of this surface. Even though it sands off fairly easy, I got a nice flat surface going on. Okay, and this is just West Systems 105 with 205 Fast Hardener. So I'm pretty happy with that straight off the track saw. 
Okay, well my house is just like everybody else's in this corner was not perfectly square. So no surprise there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mark these lines while it's in two pieces. It's just easier that way. I'll cut them with the track saw and then I know what the width of the countertop is. So I'll just put it in the table saw and cut to that width. Then I'll come back and mark for my dominoes. Okay, I'm just going to lay out for the dominoes. I think three or four should probably be enough. Alrighty. I think that'll work. I think that that will also work for my clamping strategy for the glue up too, since the seam closed up so nice. I don't have to make a bunch of angled blocks, so that's going to get it. Next up will be epoxy. Okay, and on goes the epoxy. I'm not being super worried about being messy because this was all only sanded to 180. I just want to make sure it's got a good coat on it. I don't want any dry spots. I also put some uh, parchment paper down on the bench. Hopefully keep this from sticking to the bench. And just like that, we'll let that cure overnight. And we'll come back and sand it and clean it up. Okay, super happy with how it's come out so far. Next up, I just got to get it trimmed to length uh, and get all the final sanding done. This, like I said, this is only sanded to about 80 grit right now. So it's got a long ways to go on that. Uh, I am going to round off the edges and uh, get going on finish. Okay, so I just need to get my final measurement. In my case, this is gonna be about 42 and a quarter. Let me use T-square and get my straight edge. Now I'm gonna pull it from the inside edge because the house wasn't square. That outside edge is not square to this piece. So I'll just see if this gives me enough. Okay, so cutting off the ends exposed a couple little defects in the boards. So I'm going to go ahead and just get those filled up with epoxy. Okay, just got to round over the edges before we go to final sanding and get our finish on. Okay, so if you followed me for a while, you know one of my favorite finishes is General Finishes Armor Seal on Walnut, followed up by a few coats of General Finishes High Performance for a clear poly on the top. The Walnut just gets so much from this wipe on poly that it's hard not to start there. So that's what we're gonna do. No different than some of my other finishes. And we'll just wipe it in until it's done drinking. And then I'll come back and follow up with the waterborne. Okay guys, well there's the uh, coffee bar put in place. I know that cabinet is really blue um, and the wife's still working on that. That's just the base color for some things she has in mind. 
Um, the patch on the wall is where I moved the electrical, so the Keurig will plug in there. I still got some touch-up work to do there. The countertop isn't attached um, and probably won't be for quite some time until my wife gets the cabinet done so I can move it out of the way and, and keep it from getting abused. But uh, yeah, that should be a great coffee bar. Until next time, guys. Take care.